In Medical Rounds today, September is Fall Prevention Month. It is important to understand the risk of falling and just how to prevent serious harm from those types of injuries. So here to talk now about fall prevention is Hartford HealthCare's Dr. Stephen Davis. He is an orthopedic surgeon at Hartford Hospital's Bone and Joint Institute. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Why is fall prevention so important? Well, thank you for having me on. Uh, falls are very important to prevent uh, in the U.S. every year. People over the age of 65, uh, about one in four people will sustain a fall. And a high number of these falls will result in significant severe injuries and trips to the ER. And what sort of injuries do you see after people fall? We can see all kinds of different injuries, uh, certainly head injuries, broken bones. In orthopedics, definitely we're concerned mostly with broken bones and specifically hip fractures. The reason for that is that hip fractures almost always require hospitalization and surgery. There are about 300,000 hip fractures in the United States every year. Uh, women are more commonly affected, and unfortunately, uh, mortality is very common after hip fractures. About 10 to 15 percent of patients will actually die at one year after a hip fracture. And so we really try and work hard to prevent falls in the first place because the most common reason for a hip fracture in adults is a fall from a standing position. I know it's something we're always worried about for our parents, for sure. So what's the best way to prevent falls? It's mostly common sense. There are a lot of things around the home that are tripping and falling hazards. Uh, I see most commonly patients trip and fall going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So it's important to put night lights in strategic areas to illuminate the path to the bathroom. Don't walk on hardwood floors and socks that can be slippery or cause you to fall. Eliminate tripping hazards like extension cords, loose area rugs, or loose thresholds. Uh, and these are some simple things that can really help prevent falls around the home. In wintertime, we see falls a lot of times on the ice. Uh, a simple thing that I advise a lot of my patients to do is buy crampons, which are uh, little metal spikes that you can strap onto your shoes and you can buy those at any sporting goods store. And they're simple to strap onto your shoes and Velcro on, and they give you a lot of extra grip in the snow. Right. Good advice. Thank you so much. We'll go look for those before it gets cold. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Uh, Hartford HealthCare is offering a free webinar on fall prevention on Wednesday, October 13th at 5 p.m. You can learn more by registering at HartfordHealthCare.org or just call the number that you see here, 855-HHC-HERE. And as we head off to break,